welcome back. The weaponizing of ticks and Lyme disease in the paper this week. But this isn't new news. I've been researching how the military have been using us as guinea pigs for many years. You will be surprised at the experiments that they've done. Here are a few. Were Americans exposed to weaponized ticks? In an excellent article by Julian Borger in The Guardian, the US House of Representatives has called for an investigation into whether the spread of Lyme disease has its roots in a Pentagon experiment in weaponizing ticks. Lyme disease affects 400,000 Americans each year. In a new book called Bitten, The Secret History of Lyme Disease and Biological Weapons, Swiss-born Willy Burgdorfer claims the Lyme disease epidemic was a military experiment gone wrong. Bergdoffer worked as a bioweapons researcher for the US military and said he was tasked with breeding fleas, ticks, mosquitoes and other blood-sucking insects and infecting them with pathogens which cause human diseases. He goes on to say there were programs to drop weaponized ticks and other bugs from the air and some were released in residential areas in the US to trace how they spread. He suggests that this scheme could have gone awry and led to the eruption of Lyme disease in the US in the 1960s. But in the UK, much of Britain was exposed to bacteria sprayed in secret trials. In Guardian research, the Ministry of Defence turned large parts of the country into a giant laboratory to conduct a series of secret germ warfare tests on the public. Many of these tests involve releasing potentially dangerous chemicals and microorganisms over vast swathes of the population without us knowing. Between 1955 and 1963, the fluorescent particle trials began. Planes flew from northeast England to the tip of Cornwall, dropping huge amounts of zinc cadmium sulfide the chemical drifted miles inland, its fluorescence allowing its spread to be monitored. Another part of the same test, a trailer was towed along the road from Froome in Somerset and it spewed the chemicals out for over an hour. While the government insisted that the chemicals are safe, cadmium is recognized as a cause of lung cancer. And since the Second World War has been considered as a chemical weapon. In another trial named Large Area Coverage Trials, the MOD describes how between 1961 and 68, more than a million people along the south coast of England, from Torquay to the New Forest, were exposed to bacteria, including E. coli and Bacchus globigii, which mimics anthrax. These releases came from a ship, the Ice Whale, anchored off the Dorset coast, which sprayed the microorganisms in a five to 10 mile radius. Project DICE. Trials in South Dorset began in 1971. These involved UK and US military scientists spraying massive quantities of bacteria with an anthrax stimulant. Similar experiments were done in the so-called sabotage trials between 52 and 64. These were tests to determine the vulnerability of government buildings. And in 1956, bacteria were released on the London Underground at lunchtime along the Northern Line between Collier's Wood and Tooting Broadway. The results show how the organisms dispersed about 10 miles. Similar tests were conducted in tunnels running under government buildings in Whitehall. Successive governments have tried to keep these details of germ warfare tests secret, 
but newly released documents from Porton Down, the UK's lab into research into germ warfare, has revealed the truth. Also in these papers was the tragic fact that over 5 million cattle cakes filled with anthrax were planned to be dropped in Germany to kill their livestock in World War II and also give details of the infamous anthrax experiments on Grunyad, an island off the Scottish coast, which remained contaminated until the 1980s. A spokeswoman from Porton Down, the germ lab, said, the results of these trials will save lives should the country or our forces face attack by chemical and biological weapons. Asked whether these tests are still being carried out, she said, it's not our policy to discuss ongoing research. I hope by using us as guinea pigs, they learn something because the truth is out there. <laughs>